Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Donovan and tonight I'm excited to share with you a brand new device from ZTE. That's right, the company that brought the OG 6-inch budget-friendly phone, the ZTE Z Max Pro, is back at it again. And this time they're bringing the ZTE Blade Max View. So just like the Z Max Pro, this comes with a 6-inch display and uh, lots of goodness for very, very little. Um, now, at the moment, we do not know the pricing. However, we do know that it's gonna be available at under $200. So uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna ask you to let me know what do you think this phone should cost based on what you see in the video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the specs. They're on the back of the box. So you can see here that it comes with a MSM 8940. Well, what in the world is that? Well, that is actually the Snapdragon 435 processor. It's an octa-core processor. It says 1.1 gigahertz, but it's actually clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. So again, six inch display. Now, unlike the Z Max Pro that had a 16 by nine aspect ratio, this one has an 18 by nine aspect ratio with Corning Gorilla Glass. We have three gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of onboard storage, and it is expandable via micro SD card up to two terabytes. So yeah, go ahead and store away. Android OS, of course, built in. We have a fingerprint sensor on the back. We have three cameras, so on the back we have a 16 and two megapixel camera, and uh, then on the front we have an eight megapixel camera. We have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, so that is fantastic with quick charge 2.0, and we have Dolby, Dolby DS1 speakers. And yes, we do have dual speakers on this phone. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what all you get in the box and then take a look at the phone itself. All right, so the phone is unboxed. We're going to go ahead and take a look at what all you get inside the box. So first of all, of course, you get the phone. You get a quick start guide. You also get a SIM removal tool, as you can see here. You get a Type-C cable, so shout out to ZTE for holding it down when it comes to Type-C in their budget-friendly devices. And then you also get a 1.5 amp charger in the box as well. So taking a look around the phone, so of course you can see we have that six inch display. So again, 18 by nine aspect ratio here. Along the right hand side, we have our power button and volume rocker. So one thing I do like is that the power button, I'm not sure if you can see that, there it is, has some great texture to it. Of course, the volume rocker here as well. Along the top, we have a microphone, and yes, we do have a headphone jack, so that's awesome. So budget-friendly devices are holding it down when it comes to keeping that headphone jack. Um, we do have aluminum sides as well, so they have a nice aluminum feel to them, so nice sturdy feel. Down at the bottom, of course, we have our Type-C for charging it up, also for data transmission. We do have a speaker and microphone, so the speaker is on the right-hand side, microphone over here on the left. Um, looking at the back, we have are this is kind of a cool feeling back so this is um, almost like a felt feel not really sure what, exactly what to call it but it has a nice grip to it we have our fingerprint sensor which we'll go ahead and test out right now so one two three so you can see that does work very well um, so I have a couple fingers set up with it and it's worked very well um, very accurate and uh, so far it's not the fastest fingerprint sensor I've ever tested out um, but it's still very fast and very accurate we have our dual flash here on the back with a 12 megapixel and two megapixel camera and then over here on the right and this is a very exciting thing so we have our nano sim tray as well as that micro sd expansion again you can use two terabytes so what's exciting about this sim tray well actually it's the fact that this phone is unlocked which means you can use it on any gsm network but then also fun fact here we go, there it is. I'm using it actually on Verizon at the moment. And you can see right up here, we have 4G LTE. So yes, this is unlocked also for Verizon. So uh, Verizon customers no longer have to stick it with just uh, the phones that Verizon's offering. You can now get some unlocked phones as well, including this ZTE Blade Max View. So that's exciting. And then along the front, we have again, dual speakers so that uh, also works as both an earpiece piece and a speaker. Now it's going to be a quiet speaker, but we'll go ahead and take a listen to that in just a little bit. And then we also have that eight megapixel camera for selfies. 
All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about the performance on this device. So as you can see here, I've run a Geekbench score a few days ago. So this is just the initial testing, but it got a single core score of 674 and a multi-core score of 2606. Now, what does that mean in day-to-day -day usage? Well, I've been running social media on it, also playing a few games like our favorite game at our household, Star Wars Force Arena. And so far, really no hiccups at all in terms of performance. Now, it's not gonna be the fastest phone in the world. Um, of course, a Geekbench score of 2606 is not the fastest in the world um, and certainly is not going to compete with the Snapdragon 845 processor, but it definitely holds its own. And I think for most users, for the average user, this phone is going to be just fine when it comes to your day-to-day -day tasks. All right, so while I had those Geekbench 4 scores up, you might have noticed what I would argue is both one of the biggest strengths and weaknesses of this device, and that is the software. So uh, right away, one of the things I noticed when I first got this phone up and running is the fact that it comes with absolutely no bloatware. Anything that looks like a third-party app on here up to this point is something that I've added on the device. It basically comes 100% stock with no bloatware whatsoever on the device. So that's an awesome thing now this is running Android 7.1.1 uh, with just a few tweaks. So I would argue that's probably one of the biggest weaknesses is the fact that it's running a relatively older version of Android in terms of the software. So right here is Android 7.1.1. Now ZTE has promised that this phone will get uh, Android Oreo before the end of the year. So that should be coming very, very soon. There are just a couple of tweaks here. So you can see we can uh, adjust our software buttons. Um, you might have noticed earlier that there are some things that you can do within the uh, fingerprint sensor. So you can use the fingerprint sensor uh, to take a picture. You can also use it for shortcuts as well. Um, so there's just a few things, but other than that, this thing is pretty much just running stock Android, which is a good thing in my opinion. All right, so I wanna go ahead and take a moment to talk about the battery life on this device. And so far I gotta say, it's been absolutely fantastic. So again, this is running a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which happens to be the exact same battery size as what you get on the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So a very large battery and a phone that doesn't need nearly as much power as what you get on the Note 9. So what does that mean in terms of the battery life that I've been getting so far? Well, up to this point, I've been getting anywhere from about six hours to about eight hours of screen on time. Now that's easy easily a day and a half, uh, possibly two days for a lot of users. So if you're a light user, you're not using a lot of gaming and things like that. So uh, in the days when I was only getting six hours, it's because my son was playing a lot of Star Wars Force Arena, maybe watching a lot of Netflix or YouTube, things like that. Um, so just using that screen a ton. Um, but on the days when we weren't using that quite as much, if I weren't playing Star Wars Force Arena and uh, just using it more typical and uh, more typical usage, like using Facebook and Twitter and things like that, social media, media, then I was getting more like eight hours of screen on time, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I think for the average user, you're going to be able to get a day and a half to two full days of battery life with no problem on this phone. All right, so now it's time to talk about these cameras. So arguably one of the biggest sacrifices you have to make when buying a budget-friendly phone like the Blade Max View is typically you're going to suffer in the camera category. So this one has dual cameras. Again, we have a 12 and two megapixel camera here on the back, eight megapixel here on the front. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the camera. Now, this uh, back camera can shoot in up to 1080p when it comes to video, and the front camera shoots 720p when it comes to video. So you can see here, we do have HDR available for those low light shots. Of course, we again have a flash on the back, um, but you can see we do have video, we have photo, we have have portrait. So portrait is what you're going to use if you're taking a picture of a person. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a few samples of that. And then also we do have this bokeh mode, which you can see we can adjust our aperture. So Apple talks about how uh, great it is that you can adjust the aperture after or during a photo. Well, that's actually capable. This phone is actually capable of the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and go in here to a picture that I took via bokeh mode. Um, so you you can see that this little thing right here, this little uh, icon indicates that the shot was taken via that bokeh mode. And then if we go down here, you can see right now it's at f1.0. So you can see how the background is blurred out, but those flowers are nice and in focus. Um, but then as I go all the way over here to f8.0, 
2.0. You can see that the background is now in focus. Um, so that's what that uh, bokeh mode's all about. So you can see you can adjust that manually just like you can on an iPhone. Maybe not quite the same picture quality, but overall I've been very impressed by the picture quality on this phone. So here again is another bokeh mode uh, photo. So typically you want to use portrait mode for humans, um, like this picture of my son, but you can see here uh, that in that bokeh mode you can see all that background is blurred out while my son is in focus. And then if I switch over here to f8.0, you can see that all the background comes back into focus. So very cool. That adjustable aperture is pretty awesome. A very nice feature on a phone that you're really not spending all that much on and uh, I got to say I've been very very impressed with the photo quality up to this point so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a few sample photos like what you see here in full resolution let me know what you guys think about the photo quality up to this point I've been pretty impressed with what this phone can do so far So before I conclude this video, as promised, I want to make sure that we go ahead and take a listen to those speakers. Now, again, this has dual speakers. So we have a speaker down here at the bottom and the earpiece also doubles as a speaker. And as you can see, we do have Dolby audio available here, which we can toggle on and off through the app. So this is an app. And uh, within that app, we do have a few different sound settings. So we have music, movie, music, game, voice, and then custom one and custom two. So I have it set up on music because because I already have a song queued up here. So we're gonna go ahead and take a listen to this song. This is called Victory. So let's go ahead and listen to it. All right, so maybe not the loudest of dual speakers, but it's pretty awesome that they include those in the phone. Always a nice feature, especially in a budget phone. So let me know what you guys think about this phone. How much do you think this phone should cost? Lots of awesome features packed into this device. Six inch display. We have dual speakers. We do also have unlocked capabilities, so you can use it on T-Mobile, AT&T, Metro PCS, Cricket, Verizon etc and uh, let me know what you guys think how much should this phone cost thanks for watching and i will see you all in the next video peace